Okay, now if we talk about a projected income statement, it doesn't look different, anything different compared to a normal income statement that you're familiar with. Now if we have a look at that, it's our sales, less our cost of sales, give us gross profit, we add all our income, gives us our gross income, we subtract all our expenses to give us our operating profit, then we will go and add any additional interest income that we've earned, minus our interest expense, and that gives us the net profit for the period. Now remember, that is an income statement for a whole financial year. But when we're going to go and do a projected income statement, we're going to do it for particular months. So to prepare a basic income statement as shown above, factors such as the following need to be taken into consideration. What are we dealing with? The financial statement is given to you for the previous year. What changes are expected in respect of the following? In other words, do you expect your sales policy to change? Is there something that you want to discuss regarding your purchase policy? What about your markup on cost of sales? Now, obviously, these are considerations based on last year's figures. And obviously, you want to look at the future to see how am I going to adjust? What do I want to do? What do I want to do differently next year that will impact on my figures, that would improve? Obviously, you're looking at improvement. The same would apply to your accounting results. You've You've got results for grade 10. You've got results for grade 11. Now you're in grade 12. You're projecting. What do you expect? What do you want to happen to that accounting result when it appears in the newspaper? Obviously, it requires planning on your part. And one of them is to listen to us at the Learning Channel. So therefore, if you listen to us, you hope to improve that result that you're looking for at the end of the year. Okay, if we can quickly just um, look at the following as well. When we talk about purchases, just to keep this in the back of your mind, when talking about purchases, the cost at what I buy something. So my cost of sales represents my purchases. There will always be an increase or a decrease in expenses. It's, it, it's just going to depend on how well we control all our cost. A rise in wages, that must definitely take place. If that's not happening, you're going to have the trade unions on your case. Um, a rise in interest rates on mortgage loans. A decrease in your telephone account, you've got more strict control over that. So you're cutting down on expenses. Like Ashraf said, you need to plan and you need to budget and you have to look and see what, what are we going to do for the future. So there will also be an increase or a decrease in the other income. Rent income, it can't just stay the same amount forever. We need to adjust that amount. Increase or a decrease in the interest rates. So therefore you have to look and see what are you paying on, on, on loans, interest on loans and what are you receiving for fixed deposits. In other words, if we have to summarize, what are we saying? You have to plan your work and you have to work your plan. What am I saying? I will repeat what I just said now. You have to plan your work and then you have to work your plan. So what are we saying? In the case of a public company, will there be a change in respect of dividends? Tax rates, obviously, what's minister, uh, the minister, finance minister going to do next year? Is he going to increase the tax rate? Is he going to decrease the tax rate? Obviously, those are questions that you need to be asking yourself all the time. Will there be an additional purchase of fixed assets? Are, are our assets re re uh, coming to a time where they need to be replaced? The replacement of fixed assets, is that going to occur? Or do I need to update my fixed assets? Have they become obsolete? All of these questions are questions that are asked when you are working at your income statement, your projected income statement, when you are working on your budgets. Okay, now there will be an increase or a decrease in the long-term loan. So you have to look and see, are you in a position where you can actually go and pay back a huge sum of the money that you've made a loan for? So that therefore, when we draw up this budget, we look and see how much is available at the end. And if we possibly can, we want to repay that loan so that we pay a lot less interest on the loan. Okay, what we'll do now is we, we've asked you so many questions. What we'll do is we'll pause, we'll break for an activity, and we'll be back. Until our next accounting lessons, where we're going to look at an actual budget and a projected income statement from us, keep on reading through the budget section and make sure that you understand what these things are all about and ask your parents. You want to sit in at the end of the month when they complete their budget and look and see what do they budget for. 
I'm sure what you, what you are busy doing right now is you are doing certain projections. Yes, obviously you may have some kind of, of, of employment or, or you're doing something part-time for your parents and w start planning your own budgets. In that way, you can also start projecting because remember, you have to take into consideration that you're going to be at university next year. Remember that and remember that, that that's money involved and you have to start projecting for next year. But before that dream materializes, it's the accounting that you need to pass. Until the next time, enjoy and see you in our next lesson. Until the next lesson, goodbye. Bye-bye. Summary. In this lesson, you learned about the projected income statement, about the analysis and interpretation of the projected income statement and the cash budget. Learning Channel offers an extensive educational collection ranging from grades 8 to 12 in alignment with the national curriculum statement. We offer DVD and workbook sets in a number of different subjects. To buy the Learning Channel series, check out our website on www.learn.co.za or call us on 011 639 0179.